We've got an error code, 404. Checking vitals. Core web vitals are critical. We can't save it. All our search rankings are crashing. Administer three cc's of CSS. Come on. <laughs> All right. So it may not be that serious, but you know your clients want to stay on top of Google search results. And with Google emphasizing the importance of core web vitals, UX is more important than ever to SEO rankings. So today we're going to cover how these will impact your clients' sites and what you can do to improve them. Google's core web vitals cover three metrics. Largest contentful paint, LCP, cumulative layout shift, CLS, and first input delay, FID. LCP is all about loading speed. It measures how quickly a page loads and is ready for a user to interact with it. By the way, when that first bit of content starts to display, it's stamped as first contentful paint. Just a heads up in case you also hear about FCP. If 75% of your client's website content loads in less than 2.5 seconds, Google ranks that as good. Wait, really? Yeah. 75% is, is a passing grade these days. Yeah. Wish I could be in school now. Have you ever waited for a website to load only to have the layout shift during the loading process? Frustrating, right? Now Google ranks CLS on a scale of zero to one. If your client's pages have no shifting, you get a zero. To be rated good, you should have a score of 0.1 or less. FID is all about how long pages on your website take to become interactive. For example, when a user can type into a login box, click a link, or select from a drop-down menu. A good Google FID score is less than 100 milliseconds. Web pages that fall within the specific classification of these metrics will experience a ranking boost. However, they don't override the necessity of having relevant content. No, 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 no. That's not relevant content. Now that's relevant content. Anyway, Google is weighing user experience more heavily for visibility and search, especially for multiple pages that have similar content. To thoroughly check core web vitals for your clients, you can try using Google Search Console, the web vitals extension for Chrome, or you can add the site to the hub in GoDaddy Pro and run a performance check. Jump into uh, Google Search Console and keep an eye on, uh, on your core web vitals, right? Uh, make sure you monitor those. Look at them every month and you, you're gonna see different things depending on, uh, depending on when you jump in and when you look at them, right? So Core Web Vitals comes in from, uh, uh, the data comes in from people who are using Chrome browser and they load it up. It says, you know, do you wanna send usage statistics back to Google? Click yes, that's where Core Web Vitals da data comes from. So if you've got a, if you've got a, say a month where you got a lot more, um, a lot more, uh, traffic from users who are using Chrome, the, the numbers tend to shift on their own, uh, even if you haven't made, uh, made any changes. So um, monitor your core web vitals um, alongside a few of your competitors, because you don't have to have, you know, necessarily the best core web vital score on the whole internet, right? You just want to have the best core web vital score on page one for the queries that you're trying to target. Google Search Console is free and has a new Core Web Vitals report to see how your client's pages perform. This report is grouped by status, metric type, and URL group, or you can use the newer page experience report. When you see pages that need attention, use the Page Speed Insights tool to diagnose issues by page. When you install the free Web Vitals extension for Chrome, you can measure the three Core Web Vitals metrics on any page. You can even drill down into the individual metric values which will be extremely helpful when developing a website. For the hub, well, you should just check us out and see what you're missing out on. All right, you're done triaging your client's website. How do you get its core web vitals up to snuff? Start with optimizing images. You can improve your LCP rating by making images render quicker. Ensure your images are optimized with the right size and compression and try serving adaptive images. This way, someone on a mobile device will get lower resolution images than someone using a desktop. If you use CSS to resize images, the browser will start downloading images to determine sizing and to allocate space. 
This can cause cumulative layout shift. To avert this, resize images using aspect ratio. They may not be spring, but when it comes to unused plugins and outdated themes, it's time to do some house cleaning, as they will affect the first input delay metric. So get rid of them. Seriously, ditch the clutter. Let it go. Where did all my stuff go? But can I get it back? <laughs> if you enable page caching, your server will deliver content faster. Your site's pages will be stored as HTML files after the page is loaded the first time, allowing it to display content faster next time. All the typographers in the room will be upset with me, but your artisanal calligraphy is slowing down your site. Custom fonts can cause your layout to shift, while default fonts won't cause this. Sticking to just two or three fonts native to your theme will help reduce CLS. However, if you need to use custom fonts, you can preload the font file for the content at the top of your web pages. You can also embed or host Google font files locally and preload that way. Animations are a prime reason page layout can shift while loading. When adding animations to pages, be sure to use the CSS transform property to transform scale and move animation elements around. You know our love for JavaScript, but it can get in the way of user interaction. Remove unwanted JavaScript and keep only what is essential. For example, if you don't use page builders, disable loading their JavaScript. You can also stop render blocking JavaScripts. The main thread is where the browser processes most of the tasks required for page load. To improve FID scores, minimize main thread work by deferring to the CSS file. Finally, a hosting service with a fast server response time can make the difference in faster rendering and improve your LCP score. So be sure to look into uh, advanced hosting services. Hint, hint, we know a guy. Meeting Core Web Vitals standard can help your client sites rank higher in Google search. You probably shouldn't let them down. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and all our videos, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the next one's coming. Thanks.